Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? It's General Heat here, and for today's video, we are going to be going to Fallout 4 and taking a look at something, uh, technically a pretty interesting question that was actually brought up during one of our recent live streams. And that question is, in the Fallout games, and we'll actually be taking a look at Fallout 3 in addition to Fallout 4 for this video, but the question was, in Fallout games, can you prevent drowning by drinking more water? I, I know, that seems like a really silly question, but um, it, it basically... Uh, someone did bring up in the live stream and told me that if you're drowning in Fallout 3 or Fallout 4, you can actually stop that by drinking more water. <laughs> so, if you're drowning in water, the solution is to drink more water. Well, let's see if that's actually the case. So, so first of all, the reason why there's Master Chief in Fallout 4 is because like the last time I even played Fallout 4, I was using um, a Halo 5 mod. And I figured I'd use it for this, just because I thought it was, it was ironic, because um, in Halo 5, Spartans, actually pretty much most Halo games, Spartans apparently can't swim, <laughs> especially in the newer Halo games, and yet, here we are, the best glimpse of uh, Spartans swimming. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's about how long it takes for you to drown once you're underwater, and if you don't surface back for air. So, let's try that again, and this time, I did fill my inventory with uh, quite a few water bottles, uh, not... Not as many, I, I couldn't find enough, but uh, I, I do have a fair amount, so it should be... Hopefully it should last us long enough, but... Let's have uh, Master Chief here swim into the water again, and then dive under. So, we're just gonna wait a little bit for um, for Chief to start drowning. <laughs> Which, um... I, you know, I never understood, like, why... I think like someone might have explained it already, but I never understood why, like... If there's a lore reason or not, why Spartans can't swim. But, uh, seeing, like, I I'm pretty sure like, these models in the Halo 5 model, like, actually ripped from, um, the actual Halo 5 game, but I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but if so, like, <laughs> these animations for, like, swimming Master Chief is, uh, is pretty cool. Anyways, now that we are drowning, I'm just gonna quickly drink, um, all the purified water I have. I have it set to my, um, quick, uh, quick access bar there, whatever. And as you can see, it, it, um... It doesn't stop the drowning, but it does slow it down a lot. And the more I drink, the the slower it gets. But eventually, inevitably, you will die from drowning. So let's try that again. And there's actually something interesting about like how you slow down the um, the drowning. So once again, we are underwater, and <laughs> we have um, I I think this is Kelly. I don't remember off the top of my head, but we have Chief and Kelly here going for a little swim underwater where unfortunately in just a short moment <laughs> Chief stays underwater too long and starts drowning. But in Fallout 4, the interesting thing is that the faster you drink water, the more you actually prevent drowning, or the more you slow it down. If you um, rapidly drink all the water, it will it will actually freeze like the drowning for like maybe one or two seconds, and then it will continue. Now if you do it at like a steady pace, it uh it won't it won't freeze the uh, the health bar dropping it will it will keep going down you'll slow it down a little bit still but you won't freeze it entirely for like a second so that's uh what you just saw there was you know drinking water at a steady pace so let's try one more time on fallout 4 before before we switch to fallout 3 and this time we're gonna do it once we start drowning we're gonna like rapidly drink all the water again as fast as we can and um as you can see there, it, it actually stops the uh, the health bar from going down for a second there, and then it continues. And once it uh once it continues again, it does rapidly drop. Now, like I said, I, I didn't have too many water bottles, so uh, I think if you have enough, you could actually like freeze the bar for a longer amount of time. But I don't think you could freeze the drowning indefinitely. So basically, if you're drowning in Fallout 4, you can slow down drowning by by drinking more water, <laughs> but I don't think you can prevent it entirely. I didn't have enough water bottles to test that out. However, in Fallout 3, thanks to uh, console commands on PC, we can easily test the same thing out and see what happens in Fallout 3. So in Fallout 3, you do start drowning a lot quicker, and I'm gonna speed this up because you'll see why. So I have a thousand water bottles here, and um, you can see the health bar still drops, but if I drink like a hundred bottles of, if I chug a hundred bottles of water, it um. It, it does bring the health back a little bit. If you want to pause and see like how much the health goes back up, feel free to. But there's actually like a certain threshold for how much you can heal uh, with water bottles when you're drowning. 
you can heal like um, maybe like a thousand points of health up to that much but each time like your health drops you, like I said it passes a certain threshold and you can only heal so much uh, back up and then you know once you heal you'll drown more lose more health and you drink more water you heal but it has diminishing returns and you know eventually you'll hit a point where like the, the water bottles just won't heal enough and you'll um you'll keep you'll keep losing health to the point where you'll die eventually for some reason my my recording glitched at the end and i only got like a frozen clip of uh, my dead body but basically it got to the point where um i, I could like I could keep myself alive at just like maybe like a few hundred points of health with the water bottles, but th that's like that's as much as I could keep it with um, like a thousand bottles of water. After that point, I ran out of bottles and I just died. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That is um, what happens if you try to prevent yourself by, from drowning by drinking more water in Fallout 3 and 4. Uh, hopefully, you guys found this video to be interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts and comments. If you something to check out looking to, just let me know. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.